Hey guys, it's been a while since I've uh, done any videos. Uh, been away on holiday, but uh, back with a vengeance now. So I'm uh, going to respond to a few comments. People are asking me, as a day trader, how do you identify the trend? What do I personally use and uh, how do I implement it with a trade? So quick video here. I'm going to show you what I do as a day trader, not a swing trader, but a day trader. So as a day trader, uh, you are really interested in what's happening throughout that day, partitioned up into some nice slice chunks. So for me, four hour trend, the trend is always your friend. If you can get a one hour trend to align with a four hour trend, then even better, but always trade with the four hour trend. And at the end of the video, well, mid to end of the video, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the proof that the trend is your friend by running a live robot and doing the trades to demonstrate trading without a trend and then with a trend. So let's flick over and uh, let's show you a screen. So uh, on this example, we're using uh, Euro Pound. So as you can see here, Euro, let's just flick in and get this into uh, a nice uh, viewable state. So you can see here, the uh, green line here is the identifier that I use to establish a trend. What I establish here is a 200 exponential moving average. So I'll just show you the configuration here. It's a 200 exponential moving average applied to the clause. So the rule is let's um, trade with the trend. And we only trade short when we're under the 200 EMA and we only trade long when we're above the 200 EMA measured on the four hour. Very important, measured on the four hour. So if we were taking, for example, we, we can quite clearly see the market uh, euro pound is, is bearish. And you know you can use all the stocks all you want. Uh, that is a um, an, an add to the trend, same as using the OBV9. It's an add to the trend. That's a bespoke indicator, one of the only indicators on the market that is a forward-looking indicator. Very good indicator, this one. Uh, you can get it on my website. There's a link down below, and uh, that runs on Pro Real Time and Trading View. So if you use Trading View or Pro Real Time, that is a must-have indicator. That tells you where the market's moving before it moves. It, it looks at the unbalanced volume identified and measured against the baseline. And if we look here, that's standard. The ATR measurement is standard really on any um, chart in package really. It's a five day ATR and that tells you that the, you know, the, the average true range of the, the market is uh, going down. Participants are, are, are reducing but the bears are still in control. And that gives me the confidence that this market is still coming down. So back to the trend, four hour trend. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna show you uh, uh, to prove that this uh, trend is definitely a friend. And if you follow it, some of the results you can expect. Now, people that follow me, they know I use fractal trading. So what I'm gonna do, you can see here the trends running down and then uh, the market breaks above the trend round about from 1st of August, then breaks back down again, roughly 22nd of August. And you know, for the majority of this chart, the market's been down. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up a trading robot, and we'll pull up a Euro Great British Pound. As you can see, we've got lot, lots of different types of robots. So first of all, I'll pull up a robot. Now, this robot trades the uh, fra we use fractals, so it trades a, a, a fractal uh, formula. I'm about to do a video anyway on on the trading robots that we actually use. So this is a fractal, and this fractal 
um, robot. So it's five, six minutes, six minute fractals, a sharp trader. So I want to demonstrate to you if we just trade this short because the general market is short uh, without taking into account the four hour EMA, it will give us a particular result. And um, without further ado, let's just push that down into a, a six minute and let's um, let's have a look at what this does. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a back test and I'll put this down to six minutes and I will press the back test. Boom. Back test is running and that gives us a indication of if we had traded this. Uh, within this period of time where the EMA crossed below and then above and uh, what sort of results you would have got. So this is just risking 1% of your bank, nothing huge, uh, just a, a, a 1%. And if you'd traded that throughout July, August, September, nice little period, um, <clears throat> you would have made 5.81. Okay, so you could say that was quite nice. However, that's not taking into account the trend at all. So, you know, if we look at this, I'll just take a screenshot of this. Yeah. Boom. And there we have it. That was roughly 56.98% um, win rate. And, um, well, you can see it. Uh, there were seven consecutive losses, five consecutive wins. Although he did make some money, made 6%, so not, not too bad. Click that off. Let's just have a look. This market started losing money round about 1st of August. Surprisingly enough, round about the 1st of August. I'll just get rid of that bot. Back out to the four hours, a little bit of helicopter view of past three months. There we go. 1st of August, it started losing money. And uh, it kept losing money round about and up to the 23rd. So let's have a look. Now running the fractal bot again, but this time we'll put the four hour trend in play and we'll see what we get there. So we've got Euro, British pound with a trend. We'll put a trend in, modify that so we can see it open. And on this occasion, you can see we are trading with the trend, the four hour trend and the 200 EMA. So let's put that down into the time frame. And then we'll run the trend. This is to prove to you the trend is definitely your friend. And again, we've run. So you can see here, we had a, a little bit of a, a drawdown on the first and then the bot just, the, the strategy said, don't trade, don't trade, don't trade. And when the trend reversed, it started trading again. So if you as a manual trader, these seven consecutive losses are now three. Uh, the max wins were the same, uh, but we absolutely stopped trading in the wrong when the market was running in the wrong direction. It made 508, 581, as you can see here, 581 pounds, as opposed to trading with the trend over a thousand pounds. And if you then look at the performance, we had no detriment whatsoever because we are trading with the trend. And this is an absolute great way to demonstrate, is it really a friend? Well, we can just prove it, we've just proven it now. It is definitely a friend. And you just double your win rate. A great demonstration of trade with the trend. Keep out the market when the market is not ready to trade. What you just saw then was a robot that actually takes one of our strategies and just trades it. And it, a robot, in other words, you, trading without noticing the trend, maybe winning a little bit, losing a little bit. But if you use a four-hour trend, you win a bit and win a bit more. In fact, the demonstration here over the past three months shows you that actually you'd have banked over 10%. And you would uh, certainly have kept some more money in your pocket. So hopefully, hope that helps. Um, if you want the OBV indicator, then it'd be in the link below. Um, that's no problem. Uh, if you fancy having a little look at my trading room or want me to show you around the trading room, let me know. Send me uh, an email. That link will be down below as well. Happy to show you around and show you what we do. And uh, 
trade with the trend. Hopefully that helped. Okay. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.